When you're doing everything right, or at least close to, and nothing is working, what is going on? Why aren't you getting better? And what can you do about it? Hey, I'm Laurie, and I'm the owner of Time for Wellness, and I'm here to, to have a little discussion about what possibly could be happening if you're stuck and you feel like you should be getting much better your health is just not where you would like it your weight is just not where you would like it your life is not happening for you the way you would like it there's you know multiple of things that could actually be happening and i would like to sum them all up in three ways the first one is resistance like are you in resistance are you not liking what is happening what your progress is are you like judging it to be wrong are you like disagreeing with it like really truly just not happy about what's happening and you're not liking it and anytime we don't like something then there's a resistance barrier that's happening so in all my experiences of health issues and just really diving in to find out what life is really all about and how to really operate in this world, I have discovered that, you know, when we go into resistance, we're, you know, not liking something, we're actually making things worse than making it better. And what needs to happen or what I have found to be most beneficial is to release that resistance let it go like deal with it so it's no longer a part of your experience so it's dissolving it away in a way that you can be in neutrality you can be lighthearted so then when you're in neutrality, that's when your mind is kind of still, you're not, you know, pushing things away, you're not wanting things to be a certain way because when you want, it's, that's in the resistance of having. So you're not, you don't have it, you want it. There's a non-neutral space. So if you really look at what's going on in your life and really look at it like an outside observer then you could notice it maybe better that it's not in a neutrality space and when you're not in a neutral balanced place centered then it's a lot harder to heal it's a lot harder for your life to be in the flow you're constantly feeling like you're pushing that boulder up the mountain rather than just flowing easily, pretty much effortlessly and letting life happen in a very easy, lighthearted way. So resistance is number one. Number two is all about, you know, the pain. So if it's a painful happening that's happening, then that can totally take over and be very overpowering and that's something that you know you there's ways that you can distract your mind from being in that painful place of feeling all that pain so you can get a moment of neutrality and balance and centered so you can actually allow your body to heal itself or allow your life to flow better. And then there's number three, which is all about worry. So that fear and worry, worrying that things aren't going to get better, worrying that life is not going to go your way, worrying about everything, right? It's so easy to worry in this world. And when you're worrying, you're caught up in that fear and fear is you know what is that f-e-a-r fear is false what is it false 
evidence appearing real. Like what's happening in this moment, right? In this moment. So it's a matter of really becoming still and really discovering, you know, being very observant of what's going on in your life and what life is all about. That question of what life is all about and the inner yearning that I had so, so, like, I couldn't avoid it. Like, so prominent, so in my face. I had this yearning of wanting to know what life was all about. To be free. Like, this freedom. Like, the word freedom was constantly in my head. Like, I couldn't distract myself from it. I, I kept being brought back to it, knowing that there was some way to be free. And through health and through, you know, just life not working out the way you want it to be, through a lot of stress and anguish is actually ends up being gifts because it forces you to like find out what's really going on, what life is really all about. Being strong and courageous and really observing things and checking things out and digging in a little bit to see why things are not working out better for you. So if you would like to know more information, I am going to do a little series of getting into this resistance and like how to let go of that resistance, how to get into that neutral space of stillness so that things can start working better. Whether it's your health, whether it's your emotions or your feelings, all those thoughts, like how you can create a still space so then things can start flowing the way you want them to. So you can feel better about life. I'm not a medical doctor. I am a holistic educator and coach. And I use plant medicine mainly. I am not anti the medical system. I just like to use the plants first. And then if added, if more help is needed, then Yay for the medical system. We need people to be able to put our bodies back if we get mangled in accidents or what have you. So I'm going to dig deeper into this resistance and into, you know, the, the worrisome and all the thoughts and feelings and emotions that come up. And we're going to dig deep. So if you would like to follow along, then sign up for my weekly newsletter because that's when you'll get the most information and you'll be able to go through this series just by clicking the button and letting me know that you would like these tools. So I'm going to give you a tool right away. So go ahead and click the button and then you'll have that tool to be able to use to start getting into the still space. To do away with the fear. To help even knock out the pain. And to start being in the flow rather than in a very resistant space of wanting to just say no to everything and not liking everything. It's actually not that helpful for you to be in that space. Your life could be much happier, feeling much better. So there's nothing to lose and you can unsubscribe anytime. And thank you for being here. If you're watching this on a video somewhere, then, you know, Look for a link in the comments or in the description and that way you can get the tool that I'm happy to share with you so you can start making your life better right away. So you can start feeling like you have more control of your life and the way it's flowing 
and start feeling happier and more at ease and get in a much more centered, balanced space where, you know, your mind starts to be more quiet and you're not distracted so much and you're not so much in your head. You can start to, you know, quiet all those thoughts and your emotions can start becoming much more in control because you're going to know how to react. Taking that breath and then reacting. You know, they teach in karate that you need to practice because you need to be able to have that first reaction to take care of the issue in front of you, to self-protect yourself. It's the same thing. You can have that reaction to know how to stop yourself from going into resistance and making things worse, having the pain even more painful and going to even more worry and fear and be in a much more calmer state. So then you can make better decisions and come from your clear, innate wisdom. Because when you start really looking into what's really going on in life and who you really are, then your innate wisdom starts becoming clearer and clearer to you and your intuition starts making more sense to you and you stop questioning it so much. So, I don't want to make this video any longer. So, so let's end this resistance and this fear and worry and all this pain and agony as best as we can. And jump on board. Check this out. It's a gift from me to you because, oh my gosh, it makes your life so much happier and better, and you deserve it.